What if I told you that you could make a difference? And better yet, what if you actually believed it? I am Rachel Lee Audia, a second year trainee accountant at the ShopRite Group of Companies. And I have had a phenomenal start to my training program. I started off with a rotation at the innovative and fantastic ShopRite X, moving on to meat markets, you save, properties, business intelligence, IFRA 16, and distinct preparing apps. All of these rotations have played their part in developing and improving my digital, decision-making, business, and relational acumen. But most importantly, they've all played a part in me identifying the need to want to do better and to make a difference. I aspire to be somebody who makes a difference in the community. Through my interactions, community engagement is very close to my heart. And so last year when I relocated from Johannesburg to Cape Town to start my articles, I sought out an opportunity to make a difference in my community. When my church was looking for volunteers to assist with their tutoring program, I jumped at the opportunity, helping grade 10 to 12 learners in tutoring them for mathematics, maths literacy and accounting. I assisted my Toastmasters Club in presenting a seminar at the EduBuild Institute. But that was only one day where I made a contribution this year to my community. And I had to seek out another opportunity to make a bigger impact. I was making myself a cup of coffee one day and I finished the bottle of milk. As I went to throw it away, I looked down at the plastic bottle top and a memory came flooding back to me. I remember a few years ago, a lady in our area sent a message on the area WhatsApp group asking if people could please collect plastic bottle tops for her because she had identified an organization that collected and recycled them. And so it became a natural habit in my family home to collect plastic bottle tops whenever we had one. As this memory came flooding back, I thought to myself, Rachel, you can make a difference here in Cape Town in your new home you can collect plastic bottle tops. Because I recall seeing the Sunday before in the church foyer that there was a bag of plastic bottle tops and it dawned on me that somebody was probably running a similar project. And so the Be A Difference Maker Trainee Bottle Tops Collection initiative was born. And I introduced to my fellow trainees the competition, the purpose of which was to collect as many bottle tops as we possibly can. But before all this, I had to do my research. I set an internal goal of our group collecting 2,000 plastic bottle tops. And I thought to myself, I need to find an organization where I could donate these. After doing my research, I identified the Sweethearts Foundation, an NPO, which donates a wheelchair for bottle tops that are collected and recycled. And so I thought 2,000 bottle tops, more than achievable and definitely enough for a wheelchair. Do you know how many bottle tops are needed in order to recycle and donate one wheelchair? You need 450 kilograms of bottle tops. That equates to approximately 220,000 bottle tops. So my 2,000 is definitely not enough. But this did not set me back. My fellow trainees rallied behind me and we collected a phenomenal 23,000 bottle tops, equating to approximately 10 to 15% of what is needed for a wheelchair. And that is fantastic. I think my key takeaway from the competition was seeing the engagement and the camaraderie that it created between myself and the fellow trainees. And further to this, it expanded to other people in the finance building. It expanded to our family and our friends and even our communities. I would love to share with you the three most interesting places where we collected bottle tops. Being based in Cape Town, I was very shocked when a trainee dropped off 8,000 bottle tops. She went home to Portable, approximately 140 kilometers away from Cape Town. Single-handedly, she collected 8,000 bottle tops. Another interesting collection was a trainee who told his family about this. And you might think, what's so interesting about that? 
everyone would ask their family to help. But the key to his collection is that his family is based in KZN. And so when they came and visited him, not only did they check in their luggage, but they also brought with them a few hundred bottle tops. Imagine that on an aeroplane. And the third most interesting place or manner in which bottle tops were collected, I think comes from my mom. And she sent me over 1,000 bottle tops via courier. Using my digital acumen, I created a dynamic leaderboard, which was an Excel spreadsheet the trainees could use to input the number of bottle tops that they had collected. To time frame the competition, we started in the beginning of March and set an end date to the end of June. During this time, the trainees that collected the most bottle tops would win a prize. But to keep the engagement, I also implemented random spot prizes. And to be able to qualify to win a spot prize, all the trainee had to do was bring in at least one bottle top during a two week period. And that garnered up a lot of excitement in the office. I remember the first time we did the draw. There were a bunch of trainees sitting around the laptop almost auditing the results. As I used a randomizer wheel, putting in the names of the trainees that qualified for a spot prize. And we all sat in anticipation as that wheel spun to announce the name of the first spot prize winner. Healthy competition goes a long way in helping people make a difference. And that sort of amalgamated into the 23,000 bot bottle tops that we had. You know you've made it big in life when your most recognizable quality is being the bottle top lady in the office. I started off by telling you that you could make a difference. And I hope that you now believe that you actually can. Because remember, to make a difference does not mean you need to do something so drastic that you change the world. Making a difference can be something as small as holding the door open for someone behind you, collecting a few plastic bottle tops, or just smiling to someone as you walk past. You can also make a difference. Be a difference maker.